focus. I'm, I'm becoming so nice. So, <laughs> mom, what was it like being astronauts in the 30s? <laughs> and they all keep us to not go to This is Ma, and this is Thai, and we grew up in a conjoined family. These two ladies endured a lot of the things with us five kids and their respective husbands who are brothers, one of which is my father. And so I thought, this is a very unique situation that they uh, lived in for many a year. And so I wanted to ask them some questions, both about their easy, lives growing up. Easy go, easy on us. <laughs> I'll go as easy on you guys as I can. Okay, so. When you guys were little girls in India, in the Bind village, what did you guys dream of becoming? You can start like. Well, you know that when we grew up in India, oh. you always have to listen to your father. Whatever he says, he, your father usually pick and choose your dream. Yeah. Uh, mine was when I did my BA. I was uh, wishing to go for a master for economics. Okay. Which I never had opportunity because my Dad, find your Tayaji for me. So he just gave me away. <laughs> he never, you know, uh, he never even asked me. He just told me it's time to quit yeah. job. We're gonna come back to that in a second. Ma, what was your dream as a little girl? My dream was not too big, not too small. I just want to be all rounded in everything, not like excelling in anything but <laughs> <laughs> education wise I done my Bachelor of Arts and then I was really good hockey player, really good basketball player and those kind of things and dancer, yes I love singing and playing drums. But it was not like this particular thing I want to be. Mm -hmm. Next question is what Tell us about how your wedding went down. So you you go you guys both had an arranged marriage, which I'm very grateful that that isn't doesn't have to be my reality in this day and age. But I know that you guys had very unique and different stories, but also kind of funny stories. Huh. So Thai, how did you and Thaiji end up getting matched together? My mom came to me, to me one day. He said she said, okay, let's get ready. We are gonna go to so and so person's place and I was so Did you surprised. know why you were going? No. I was so surprised. I said, <laughs> oh, how come mom? But she said, I don't know. They're inviting us there. So mom said, Did I'm your mom come. know though? She knew. Oh, of course. Yes, she knew. She said, they invite us. Let's go. When I went there, uh, your grandpa, Chacha Ji, and your Taya Ji was there. And we sat, we have uh, tea together. And we talk about my uh, university. And we talk about, you know, how he is about uh, Shakespeare. Shakespeare. I only <laughs> knew, I only knew few poems of him from other textbooks. Yeah. Uh, then I talked to Jyotiraji. Yeah. Just to, you know, just general talk. And uh, from our general talk, I figure out uh, he is a very handsome guy. But he is not <laughs> highly educated. <laughs> That's it. Then fourth day. Today we see each other and fourth day was our wedding day. Really? That was. Okay, Ma. So what was your marriage, arranged marriage story? Uh, I always wanting to just get married uh, to someone from abroad. Yeah. And uh, always thinking whoever I'm gonna get married should have good muscular man. <laughs> Good muscles. <laughs> That's what my dream was. Uh -huh. <laughs> I always think that. <laughs> <laughs> it's not funny, but that, that was like my <laughs> dream was. And, uh, Apparently, my then, dream too, because Mitch is not a small man. <laughs> we had some functions at home, and uh, we just, at the end of the night, we went to drop off your papa's cousin at her house. And we were just sitting and talking and she was making a cup of milk for us and we started flipping all the albums. And when I saw your papa there and he was just sitting on the couch putting his hand under his head like this and his muscles was quite big. <laughs> and I don't know why I got attracted to that. <laughs> it ha 
happens from nowhere. <laughs> And maybe it meant to be like that. Well, I just if you see my dad, it's funny. There is it's no funny. muscularity. There All the muscles are like... on the tummy now. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I always tell him. I say, once upon a time, I followed a wonderful, wonderful man, but now man is left. Wonder is God. <laughs> <people. laughs> so you guys, the arranged marriage for you guys happened in two weeks, though. You met uh, up. Yes. But one End day. of December, on 29th of December, mm -hmm. we met each other and have dinner together and uh, then with the whole family, siblings and we all went, I think seven or eight of us, we went to watch a movie, Sohag and uh, after that came home, they went back to Punjab, your Payaji and your Papa and 14 days later, January 14th, we got married mm -hmm. and yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's all we knew. You guys are wondering how we never knew better than that. Yeah. That's all we knew. Yeah. So we did we did fell in love with our husbands after marriage. After marriage. Yeah, it's just Yeah, like this is generation gap. Yeah, yeah, yeah but our problem. parents yeah. Yeah. they didn't know anything. Yeah. Like we were much better than them. <laughs> yeah. Right? And now new generations they are better than you guys. Mm -hmm. right? But you guys were, you know, your own trailblazers in your own way. But also, when you guys got married, so Thai was already in Canada. Then you moved to Canada after you married Papa. And you guys were kind of thrown into this mix of, you know, all of Papa and Thai. Really? Our Puas, their sisters all lived here. You guys lived there. Yes. Joint family. was already born at the time, or not yet? Yes. They right. were both born at the yes. time. Yes. So those are my two older cousin sisters. Okay. So, and I have an older cousin brother as well. And then my brother, and then me. So that's yeah. all of us. Lots, kids in the of, house. lots of people we were living in one so house. So, how was, what was that like having so, many, so much chaos, so many people for, all the time raising kids? Yeah, for me it was difficult yeah. telling you to it. Because I used to live only with my mom and dad. and one sister. Yeah. My brothers, they were older, they were gone, working or wherever they were. And I pick and choose, I told you, Tayaji, either I want to go to school or I want to work. I, I like to get out from this house in order to get my own, yeah, independence. own, own life. Space. So yeah. I think that was, a, mostly that was my escape from this too much loudness and you know. Yeah. That's how I escaped myself. Yeah. All through my life. Yeah. And it went really good. Did your mom and myself we uh, we divide our duties at home? Like who's gonna do dishes? Who's gonna cook? Who's gonna clean? Who's gonna chop vegetables? Who's gonna chop my vegetables? My brother and I grew up cutting up a lot of carrots. Uh, so your mom and me, we were always partner, even though your dad's sister were here. Yeah. They were for two of them, like one, two, three, three different uh, pairs we yeah. were partnered. So we will do things together, then next pair we'll do things together, third pair we'll do. It was a So it was system. not bad, it, it was not that bad. Yeah. Yeah. Look around your mom and me, we are still living joint. This is why I'm doing this because man, you should see them. They are so entertaining when you get them to be real with each other. <laughs> just no, like... Not much. Just know how to push each other's buttons, but also best friends at the same time. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. We can never that throw each other. That is the fun of life. That is the fun of life. Otherwise, life is so dull. Yeah. Like if you guys don't pin each other, there is no fun in the life. <laughs> yeah. So we... We don't feel mm -hmm. that difficult. Mm -hmm. Yeah, actually, we were a helper when you guys were growing up. Me, Nurasna, Pradeep, and yourself, and we, we helped each other. We gave right to each other. You guys have extra curriculum, so if she sometimes she takes you guys uh, to that, sometimes I. We always work up for it. I'm always date she. They mm -hmm. She was always. They eight. also did that, yeah. So they both worked at the so hospital as unit clerks, um, and Thay would either take the morning shift, and then Mom would take the evening, evening shift, or vice versa. Most, most. So we would, would always have a mom at home, which yes. I think is a big reason yeah. why I am the woman I am today, because I always had such strong female influences in my life at all times. I just loved it so much, though. You know, I wouldn't have changed any of it, even though we had our hard times, we had our good times, because mm -hmm. we're just like. I wouldn't be who I am today if it wasn't for everybody then. who was involved. Okay, next question. What was it like to be, that you were a mom at 19? Or yes. You were 19 years old yeah. when you when had, I had a baby. Many, yeah. What was it like to be 19 and have a child? I was 19 and like just could not even figure out my own life and thoughts and behaviors and feelings 
when you were 19, had an arranged marriage, moved to a brand new country <laughs> where you couldn't even call your parents and you had a child. And from India, that's all we knew. Uh, that is next step after wedding, after marriage. Uh, start making uh, children. family, children. Mm -hmm. So that was our next step. Mm -hmm. So that's all we, I knew and my husband. So that's why we did that. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I'm thinking it was good in according to our life. And look at your Minu Didi and Rasna Didi. They, lots of people think uh, I'm their sister. Because <laughs> you're so young and beautiful. <laughs> One day we were traveling, uh, <laughs> Minu, Rasna and myself. And people, uh, we were sitting waiting for the plane and we were talking and men said, Mom, then few people came, came ran to us and they said, Oh, is that your mom? <laughs> so what a good feeling, you know, like uh, uh, kids, they are, uh, I grow up with yeah. your sisters. Yeah. Yeah. I'm still growing up with you guys, yeah. learning lots from you guys. Yeah. And what about for you, Ma? So for you, it was a different story. It was about seven years of not yeah. being able to have a child. Yeah, Trying. but I had my lots of fun. And you had these yeah. guys. Yeah, and had these 27, three kids. I was 27 years old when I had Vikram. Yeah. And but I never felt that emptiness in me mm -hmm. because of I have three other kids to look exactly. after. Well, I think that it's like yeah. kind of special. I mean, Minididi is 12 years older than me, so my oldest cousin sister is 12 years older than me. Yeah. I'm the baby of the family, but, but it's given us this real kind breath. Of, yeah, yeah. But also this like kind of quality and depth to my upbringing that it was so special and I feel like I got to learn so much from all the different personalities but also constantly seeing what was happening and taking on kind of other people's lessons so I, I very much have always valued that yeah. and then Vikram Bhaji came along and then I came along a while after yeah. Yeah. so to turn the focus on moi what was it like to have little Coco <laughs> running around the house? What kind of kid was I like? Can't you see right now? Everybody, Coco, 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 Masi. <laughs> and Coco, you, you they, need to start uh, calling you Coco. Coco. <laughs> the origins of Coco are my eldest niece, Imani, when she was a little baby, she was only saying one word consonant, or one consonant words, like mama or whatever. And so she started saying Ko, and then Coco, yeah. and then Coco, and then I was Coco Masi. Masi means your mom's sister, and it's kind of stuck ever since. I, I even sign off my blog posts with Coco now. Yeah. Um, I kind of love it. But yeah, what, what kind of a kid was I? Uh, you are very independent and very stubborn. <laughs> and very intelligent. Uh, <laughs> uh, that comes after. <laughs> I gave him a hard time, especially as a teenager. You were yeah. mysterious too. You were yeah, going mysterious. with this little bushes. Go, yeah. run, play there. And one time I was, I, it was my reason, you were under my supervision. She was at work. You ran away somewhere. <laughs> Me, Taya Ji, we just went. Look for coma. Oh my God. I said, what I'm going to do now? <laughs> so I went to the bush. I found you. You were playing there. And you brought me home. home. And this is how mischievous you was. <laughs> I just like to find my own little thing, go yeah. off and embark on my own adventures. Right. And yeah. No, thank you guys so much. I asked you so many different questions. You answered from your heart and on that last note it is, you know, you have to be where your feet are, be present wherever you are, but also try and make an impact in whatever way you know how. Talking about what you want in your religion or giving advice to young people or just being awesome moms for your children. It's also important, and that's why I wanted to start this year off with a video with my two mamas. And um, I'm going to be trying to do weekly videos every Monday now. <laughs> and if I don't, I'll be telling you why. This is my goal for 2016. Um, so we've got a big year ahead, and I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you enjoyed. I did. I hope we had some. <laughs> I think we had a great time. time. <laughs> Yeah, she's from just throwing. Our, we just got back from Tempe, and yeah, my tripod is two yeah, little just stools. Like that. And my mom's were like, "Yeah, we'll sit down and do this thing for you." So thank you for staying with us. Thank you guys for loving me and for doing this for me and letting me put you on the spot. And until next week, thank I'll see you, you then. Being, thank you being us, uh, our lovely daughter. We are so proud of you. Thank you, bye. Love you guys. Thanks for making my life miserable. <laughs> <laughs> In the shower? <laughs> <laughs>
I like it too. <laughs> I think we're good, Mitch. <laughs>